Hey, this is Dr. Mort Orman. I want to welcome you to this episode of Storytime. Uh, Storytime is where we focus in on certain stories we tell ourselves that aren't really true and therefore create stress in our lives. So today I want to focus on a very uh, general story. And this is the story that we tell ourselves all the time that we aren't really telling ourselves false stories when we are. So we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of false stories that we tell ourselves all the time. And we don't even recognize that we're doing that. We don't even recognize that they're stories. We think it's reality that we're perceiving or that we're feeling or that we're looking at. When in fact, they're really, we're looking at everything and seeing things through the filter of the stories that we tend to tell ourselves. And most of these are unconscious. So again, we're not even aware of them. So in a previous video, I, I gave an example of one of these cases called collapsing domains. There's one type of collapse of domain. So for example, we see something that happens and we go, oh my God, that was a bad thing that happened. Or this was a really terrible thing that happened. And we don't realize that that's really a story. It's a combination of things that happen plus the story that we've told about it. So we have these two domains. There's the domain of whatever happened. And then there's the domain of us sitting there as human beings judging it to be bad or wrong or whatever we do. And we don't see that as two separate things. Here's the event. Here's me over here telling this story about the event. It's a negative story. And therefore, I'm feeling negative because of the story I'm telling. No, we see it as a collapse of domains. This is what our body automatically does. So it looks like a bad event actually happened and there's no storytelling going on. Well, there's plenty of storytelling going on. We're just not aware of it. <clears throat> So these are the kind of stories that I want to focus on in this series. And as we go along, we'll see different ones. I mean, we have stories about everything. We have stories about life. We have stories about ourselves, about other people, about health, about truth, about knowledge, uh, about stress. We have tons of stories about stress. So there's lots of things to explore in the series. Hopefully we'll do that as time goes on.